1996. 26. 28. By this December, 28 years. <laughs> Neither of us know. He keeps forgetting. <laughs> it's a pretty interesting one, actually. <laughs> we met through, you can call it whatever you want, divine intervention or chance meeting. We both lived in different parts of Canada. 30 years ago? Yeah, almost 30 years ago. More than 30 So years we were ago. both very young. I was 18. <laughs> yeah and I was about 21, 22. My friend invited me to uh, travel to Taiwan and I lived in the eastern part of Canada so I drove my car across Canada, stopped in the city with him to work for a while to make some money to go on this uh, voyage uh, to do a year of service in Taiwan which I had never left, had never been to the far east before and in that city where I was working uh, that's where we met through my mutual friend and then I left for a year. <laughs> and later, of course, we came, I came back and we, we had gotten to know each other and we decided to get married. My version? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One day, my sister invited me to a movie night. The, the first person I met when I came in the door was Vincent and he was cooking in the kitchen. And I thought, oh, okay, yeah, this, this man cooks, that's, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, throughout the night, I mean, it was winter time, so it was very, very cold, and they didn't have the heat uh, up at all. So I was like, I'm so cold. And I didn't ask him for anything, I didn't say anything, I just said, I'm cold. Immediately he came and brought me a blanket, and I'm like, okay, I'm marrying this one. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I knew from that moment onwards that um, yeah, I, I guess it was love at first sight. Um, but because I was so young, I asked my dad uh, if I could get married actually. When he came back from Taiwan, after his year of service, I was so 18, 19 at that time. And my dad's like, no way, you're too young. And you went there to study, not to get married, right? And he said, finish your studies and then we'll talk again. So then I finished my, uh, my bachelor's and I said, you, you said you could let, let us get married. This is four years later, yeah, I finished my studies. And he's like, to the same man? <laughs> and I'm like, y yes. <laughs> so then he tried to, then he knew that I was really like determined to marry this guy. And he tried to send my sister to discourage us from getting married. And it, then the opposite happened. I encouraged her to get married instead. So after we got married, my sister got married a year later. <laughs> Falling in love. I had a dream actually, a very intense, uh, like they call it a lucid dream. Just before I went to Taiwan, that really um, made me think about that. This is a possibility. Yeah. So uh, there was that kind of a thing, almost like, you know, I, I was at that age where, of course, I was thinking about that. I was a young man, and everybody around you is thinking about who you're going to partner up with. Are you going to find somebody? How are you going to find somebody? And I had actually made a decision not to do that, to completely not think about looking for someone and just uh, say prayers about it and uh, leave it up to God and destiny and, and finding someone. So that's the sort of state of mind I was in when we met. And uh, yeah, so I wasn't expecting it actually, because uh, I wasn't really on that, you know, that kind of uh, seeking mode. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it soon became obvious to me that there was something uh, mystical there, potent there, some sort of connection that, yeah, drew us together. In fact, that was one of the reasons why I was so attracted to him is because he was completely not interested. <laughs> and I could tell that he's such a pure hearted person. He just really wanted to be my friend. I'm like, okay, yeah, this guy is a good guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, well done. <laughs> it was interesting because I think because before he left for Taiwan, um, I, he had no idea that I was interested in him as a potential husband. It was, I think, through the letters that we wrote to each other, mm. then he figured out that, yeah, I liked him. <laughs> he, he was a little bit dense. A little bit clueless, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so when he came back from his year of service, um, then yeah, he said, you know, that we should talk and I'm like, okay. And then immediately you said, 
we can we should talk about marriage because I'm not interested in dating. There's no such thing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, I don't believe in that. Um, if you are interested, uh, we can look at the possibility of getting married. So that's that wasn't a proposal. That yeah. not in the yeah, conventional not in the conventional way that's way. expected. Yeah. But I think um, I think at that point I cried. Yeah, I, I think I had that. electric shock going through my body. It was just a moment of disbelief. For me, I, I understood what I wanted, you know. And in the Baha'i writings, I had read about the concept of marriage, about uh, fortress of well-being, right? And thinking about that concept was really powerful for me because having seen so many youth of my age, you know and younger that were suffering in that way and kind of, you know, didn't have that shelter in that way that is described. And I, I longed for that to, to be able to have that yeah, and, and nurture that. And so for me, yeah, it was quite clear. Mm. <laughs> of course, yeah. You did. Yeah, I mean, but it's not what you expect. Right?